The way in which society and the world is, of all things, digital is something which we in the UK have already shown we have real world leadership in. And so it's vitally important that we continue to invest in these areas and in doing so create an economy which will help us succeed in the future. We've announced today three new digital economy hubs. We're investing £36 million in creating three hubs of research to focus on how the digital economy can best be used to improve people's lives. The focus of our hub is on the rural aspects of digital economy. And I think there are many challenges that rural communities face. You know, I live in a rural community myself in the northeast of Scotland. Um, and I know what my broadband service is like, for example. And that immediately limits the services I can use. As soon as you start limiting the infrastructure that people have, you limit their access to services. So we need the infrastructure to allow us to deliver the digital technologies to people to help them with many of the other issues they face that disadvantage them in rural communities. So for example, whether it be transport, you know, can you use digital technology to help people find ways, for example, through lift sharing or through maybe sharing patient transport services to get to main arterial routes? The transport theme within the Digital Economy Research Hub is absolutely critical. What we're doing within this theme is we're looking at all aspects of transport. So we're looking at road transport, rail transport, um, even motorbike or cycling and walking. And we're looking from the perspective of the passenger or the user and also from the people who provide the infrastructure. And it's really important that within this um, transport theme, we understand the way in which information is presented to everyone from a train driver um, to an operator of a sign on a motorway. Our driving simulator enables us to understand what future road signage will look like um, before it's actually put out into the real world. The added benefit of our driving simulator is it enables us to um, record the driving performance in quite an accurate way so we can anticipate if there could potentially be any issues to do with driver distraction, for example, of putting too much extra information out into the real world. I think the key thing is to understand how the, the new technologies, existing technologies and emerging technologies can affect society and change the way we live and work and play. Technologies like GPS that allow us to use location information, this can be very valuable both at a societal level for understanding you know, how the bulk of people are moving through the transport system, uh, very valuable information, but also this can be of benefit to the user so that they can get real-time information from the infrastructure as they pass through it. I think we're all aware of the speed at which the digital technology is moving, but uh, we've got to make sure that this doesn't exclude certain parts of our community. So for example, how can we get flood warnings more effectively to people in outlying districts? How can we make sure that everyone has access to broadband so that all of these new services which are now available to people with faster broadband access can be available to everyone? One of the problems at the moment in society is that there's a lot of evidence that people who are digitally excluded are also socially excluded. And so what we're trying to do is to think about, well, how do we reduce that risk? So you can see why there are problems, because people who don't have access to computers or who don't have the, uh, the ability to use them, it's difficult for them to get jobs. Many jobs now require computers. It's difficult for them to get training because a lot of training is online. Even a lot of healthcare advice is now online. So there's that risk there, but there's also this fantastic opportunity to use the digital economy to bring people into society. So we're working with older people and disabled people and disaffected youth in ways that will help them to get jobs and to access healthcare and all of the things which uh, most of society just takes for as the normal nowadays.